Hello and welcome to TNT News. Today marks the second day of the aftermath of the Manchester Arena attack, which left 22 people dead and 64 people injured, many of whom were children. 20 of these victims still remain in critical conditions throughout hospitals in Greater Manchester. The culprit has been named as Salman Abidi. In terms of the investigation, three people have been reportedly arrested since then. Whilst the investigation is still ongoing, one thing that has come from Manchester is the love, support for the city and the defiance against the Callist attack. TNT spoke to many members of the public to see what they had to say about Monday's event. Like, devastated, really. Like, you never think of these things happening so close to, to home, so close to you. Um, it's just up the road. Just up the road. You know, the news was coming through last night. I actually got a text from a friend saying, I've just heard about what's going on in Manchester. What's, what's happened? Are you all right? Um, and you, you know, it's just mind blowing. Um, it was so, like, sad. I think the reaction, I suppose, of everyone instantly has been amazing, really, really supportive. Um, and I think that it just shows that we don't let things like this beat us, get us down. So yeah. we'll just, you know, keep going as normal. United. Yeah. Yeah. But when did you first find out about it? Like pretty much after it happened. Yeah, like last, like, last night. Online. Like, as as it Got happened, sent yeah. a picture of it, so I was yeah. like, what? Did any of you know anyone that was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah but no one was there. I think it's pretty sad, me. It is pretty think, sad. Like, I don't know. And there's like police getting about with like guns. The UK terror threat level is now up to its highest level of critical, meaning that more attacks may be imminent. For more updates on the incident, keep updated with the Nubian Times. I'm Alexia Hendrickson, and you've been watching TNT News.